Okay, before we get started, you need your daily dose of camper, so. Say hi, camper. He's getting so big. He weighs 34 pounds now. And when we got him, he weighed 13. He's getting like a big dog. Okay, I just had to show y'all him because he's sitting right underneath me. Just, just know that. <laughs> hey guys, today I'm gonna be telling you all about my hair, all of the products that I've been using and loving, um, and pretty much just anything that I can think to inform you guys about what I do for my hair because I actually get a lot of questions about kind of just like what is my hair care routine because I haven't done one of these videos in a long time and the last time I did this video I had super super long hair. I'll insert a picture if you guys maybe just started following me and you never saw me with super long hair but I had very long hair pretty much down to my butt for a really long time and I just recently got it cut. I probably got like nine inches cut off of it now it's right here and I like it at this length way better and I feel like I can do a lot more with it. So that kind of brings me to my first point about my hair which is the texture of my hair is very soft, very fine, but I have a ton of hair. Like when I wake up in the morning it's just straight. In the past few months I feel like I have found a lot of products that really help me achieve soft but voluminous and texturized hair which is pretty much what I always wanted. I also get a lot of questions about if I dye my hair or not and I do not dye my hair. This is my natural hair color. It's just brown. <laughs> Keeping up with like highlights and stuff is just very high maintenance and I like very low maintenance hair so I think I might just keep it my natural color for a while. Um, but yeah, this is my natural color. Okay, so the first products that I'm gonna tell you guys about are my shampoos and conditioners that I use. And I have two different kinds that I kind of switch out between. The first shampoo and conditioner that I absolutely love is this, and this is the Living Proof Full Shampoo and Conditioner. Right now I only have the conditioner because I ran out of the shampoo and I threw it away. So um, I just have the conditioner for now and I need to repurchase it. I love this shampoo and conditioner because I really do feel like it makes my hair very voluminous. And it also doesn't make it feel dry because I've noticed that a lot of volumizing shampoo and conditioners can do that to your hair. But I really love this one. It smells really good. It is on the more expensive side. This is actually the first shampoo and conditioner I ever used that was more expensive than like $3 Pantene, but I really like this. I've been using it a lot. I mean, I ran out of the shampoo, so you know, gotta love it. And then the other shampoo and conditioner that I use, that I switch in between using that, is the Kristen S. The One Shig Signature. <laughs> Signature shampoo and conditioner. I mentioned the Kristen S line in my May favorites video because I bought a ton of products of hers from Target when I saw them at the store and I've been using them a ton and I love them. So this is a very cleansing shampoo and conditioner which I really like because I am using a lot of products in my hair now like dry shampoos and texturizers and things like that and I feel like these really cleanse all of the built up gunk out of my hair because even if you do wash your hair with a normal shampoo and conditioner it can still kind of feel like you have build up or it just kind of gets a little bit less shiny because you've been using dry shampoo a lot and I feel like these really just take all of that out and just let your hair start fresh. So I love these. These are both I think $10 from Target and I also love the packaging. I think that they're really cute and they smell great. The next thing that I'll mention are the products that I use on damp hair after I get out of the shower. The first thing is this, which I don't use as much as the next product that I'm gonna mention, but I still really do like it, so I wanted to mention it. It's the Mai Tai Spritzer Sea Salt Spray by Dry Bar. And I love this stuff because you spray it in damp hair after your shower. It smells very good, but it gives my hair grip. Like it gives my hair texture so that when I wake up it's not as straight as it normally is. It's more like 
it's not wavy, but it's just more textured. You know what I'm saying? I know you guys know what I'm saying. So I really like this. It kind of just, you know, sea salt spray just gives you a more beachy hair look. And I really like this one. And the next thing that I use seriously every single day after I shower, um, I put it in the roots of my hair, is the Kristen S. Instant Lift Volumizing Mousse. I feel like this is the number one product that... Ah! Oh my gosh, I feel like this is the number one product that really gives me a ton of volume Like when I wake up in the morning, I can really really notice that I have extra lift in my roots And I forgot to use this last night, so I feel like my hair is kind of like less voluminous The next things that I want to mention are the things that I use on dry hair to kind of style it or to absorb my oil So I have two things like that and that is the bumble and bumble preta powder this is dry shampoo and i think it's also considered a texturizing powder as well and when my hair is oily i just pop some of this in my roots and it is white so you have to be careful and really rub it in so you don't get a white cast but i love this i think i've had this for two years and i still have half of a bottle left so this stuff is expensive but it lasts a really long time at least for me I guess I don't use a ton of it but I feel like I have used a lot of this also isn't this tiny bottle really cute oh. and then another product that I love so much I seriously love this I think I've mentioned this in a video as well this is the dry bar trick trick <laughs> this is the dry bar triple sec three in one it texturizes amplifies refreshes so that is exactly true. It really just gives your hair a lot of texture. It really smells great. And I just feel like when I spray this in my hair, the bottom of my hair gets more volume. I don't really use it at the root of my hair because I would use something more like this for that. But this really just makes your hair less like all in one spot at the bottom of your hair. Does that make sense? Like sometimes I feel like all my curls are just like right here and I kind of want them to like spread out and be more loose and wavy. And that's what this does. This just gives me a much more like relaxed look instead of looking like, you know, crunchy curls like that. So I think that's it for today's video. Um, if you guys have any other questions about hair, leave them down below because I'm sure I missed a question. I get a lot of questions about my hair and I think I answered them all, but I'm not sure. So I will be answering all your comments down below, all your questions. But if you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys very soon. Bye!